loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what's in my makeup bag. By the time you're watching this video, I'm probably in Italy already. And I'm actually there for 10 days. So I tried to pack as light as possible and just really take with me what I used pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is the only makeup bag I'm going to be bringing with me along with this little pouch where I keep all of my brushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I brought with and all that jazz. Like usual, I'll have everything listed down below. So anyways, let's get started. This is my makeup bag right here. This is the Louis Vuitton Truce. I think it's in a size 23. And this is a vintage piece, so I did purchase this as a pre-loved item. As you can see, it's not too small, not too big. It fits a lot of things. I love it. Alright, so I'm going to try and like show you guys. So that is what it looks like inside. As you can see, I can still put, you know, quite a bit of things in there. Like, if I really want to, here on top, just kind of layer on top of each other. But like I said, I'm really trying to pack as light as possible. So there's a few things in here that I'm still iffy about. Um, I am filming this a week in advance. Um, but yeah, pretty sure though, like, 80% of these things I know I will bring. I'll, I'll mention the ones that I'm kind of iffy about. So anyways, um, on the sides right here, as you can see, there's this little... Um, elastic thing so I think you're supposed to put like your brushes or something in there but what I like to put there are kind of like the liquid items that I kind of like standing upright just in case you know there's some leakage or whatever so here is my primer this is the benefit professional matte rescue it is kind of like a gel primer slash moisturizer I really love this so this is pretty much going to serve as my moisturizer and primer during my trip it really does keep me oil free for those wondering I do have combination skin I am pretty dry slash normal all over the face except for my nose that's where I really really get oily throughout the day so yeah I love this stuff it works for me and then on the side, I also have my Bobbi Brown foundation stick. And I'm in the shade Natural 4. And I'm bringing this with me just because it can also serve as a concealer if I want to. And plus, it's really easy to use and apply on the go and whatnot. So I have this. And this also is really good for every day. It's Pretty lightweight, it looks natural, but still gives you really good coverage. You can definitely layer this on to get a fuller coverage, you know what I mean? So, I like that. In the same little elastic thing, I have these two things. I have my lip gloss, which is the It Cosmetics lip gloss. I'm not sure what this color is. Oh, here it is. It's in the color Naturally Flushed, and I actually have it on right now on top of a lip liner, which is from NYX. Um, so yeah, I like this lip gloss a lot. It's like my favorite. And then I also have this guy. This is going to be kind of my mascara for my whole trip because you guys know I have lash extensions. And this is kind of like one of those coatings for your lash extensions. So... It's called Black Diamond Coating. It helps your eyelash extensions look darker and also really seals them. So that's that. And then one more thing right here because there's like three elastic things. Um, so I have the foundation that I'm bringing and this is so tiny. This is actually a sample size, but seriously, this foundation is amazing. I'm definitely going to be buying the full size later on. Um, but I've been using this for a week or so and it's the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops and I'm in the color N50 and I love this so much. I have it on right now and seriously, this is like one, two, three, four, six dots. So I have kind of like bigger dots. Um, on this side here and here and then I have three little dots around my chin and that's all you need So this little guy is all I need for the 10 day trip. I'm pretty sure this is this is just amazing So that's that as you saw I have the Bobbi Brown foundation as well just in case um, But for the most part I will be using this guy right here. I love it all right, I also have a clip so, you know, I can put my hair out of the way when I'm doing my makeup. 
I have the Benefit Boo Boo Zap. Just in case I do start to get some breakouts here and there, I can just put this right on top of it and it will help it go away. <laughs> And I also have Puff Off from Benefit Cosmetics. I love this because I know I'm going to be waking up super, super early on my trip just because we want to see a lot of places. So my eyes, I'm pretty sure, are going to be like red and puffy. So I need this. And this stuff really helps. So this is the Puff Off from Benefit. And I also have my NARS Creamy Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm in the color Ginger. And this is my favorite concealer ever. Now I'm just going to show you what's in the middle part right here because there's also like a little compartment right here, if you can see that. I'll do that last. So the middle part right here where I kind of keep all the big items. So I have here the Bare Minerals Concealer in Well Rested. I love this concealer. I don't go anywhere without it. It's actually what I have underneath my eyes right now. I didn't even use a concealer today. Like I didn't use the NARS. I just used this. And I love it. Look at look it. It's yes. <laughs> I really like it. So I really do wish that this was pressed though because it does get pretty messy like all over the place, you know, because it's loose. And then I have my Hourglass Powder in Dim Light. I love this. It gives you a really nice glow, but it looks really natural and keeps me pretty oil-free and it does give a little, little bit of coverage. So I like it. I just really like using it as kind of a setting powder. I actually just ordered a smaller size of this at Sephora, so that will be a lot better because this takes up, up quite a bit of space, so I can't wait to get the travel size of that. Okay, of course I have with me my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I love this so much, but seriously though, I'm still thinking this is what I'm really iffy about because the only thing I really use from this palette is this guy right here. Like I can be without everything else, I just need the medium contour. So I'm really iffy about bringing this whole palette. Um, I'm just kind of, I don't know, I need to look through my collection and see what bronzer is really similar to this because I love this for contouring like it's just my go-to like I love the shade it's perfect so we'll see all right I have the cosmetics by by pores this is definitely coming with me I love this so this is just a really good setting powder for all over the face I really like it it makes your skin look really nice and smooth and just really gets rid of all those pores. So I love this. I do have this in a loose powder form, but for traveling, I like the pressed form a lot better. For highlights, I'm bringing my Hourglass Euphoric Strobe Light. I really love this. I have it on right now. I love it. It's just so pretty. It has more of that champagne-y, bronzy color. So this is just definitely my favorite at the moment. And for a blush, I'm going to be bringing my Hourglass Mood Exposure. This is seriously one of my favorites. I've talked about this so many times here on my channel. It's just really my go-to if I don't know what blush to use for any looks. This is definitely my go-to. So I love this. Okay. Now on to the little pocket right here on the side. I just kind of keep the little things. So I have here blotting sheets from Tatcha. I've had this for years and it's just there's a lot in there. So I think there's still like a dozen sheets left and it's just in there. So I have my blotting sheets for when I want to blot my face. For eyeshadow, I'm bringing these two little guys right here. They're both from Jouer. This one is cream and espresso and the other one is cocoa and this is pretty much all I need to create that really nice um, everyday look that I always do what's on my eyes right now it's just super easy put cream on my lid area um, cocoa all over the crease just to kind of kind of like a transition color and then if I want to deepen it up I have espresso here and I also like to use um, my bronzer like what I contour with on the crease area just to kind of really blend everything together and make it look more natural so that's kind of what I do so this is all I'm bringing for eyeshadow if I want a little bit of a shimmer on my lids or like you know that little pop of whatever then I can just pop on the euphoric strobe light right in the center of my lid for that added shimmer so 
yeah, I'm being resourceful here. <laughs> okay, and then I have some lip products in here. I kind of have a lot. Um, I'm bringing my two lip creams from Jouer. I have with me here Creme Brulee and Petal de Rose. They're just definitely my favorites. I love them. They stay on for a long time on your lips. So those are the nudes that I'm bringing. Of course, I have some lip liners. Um, on my lips right now, actually. Was it next? No, it was this one. Sorry. Um, this is what's on my lips right now. It's the a Cosmetics Buff Nude um, Lip Liner. And it's waterproof. And I really like it. It stays on all day. So I have that. And I also have two NYX lip liners. Both in the color Natural. They're just amazing. I love these. I will definitely repurchase. So usually... I keep one or two of these in my purse, but right now they're all in my makeup bag. So that's that. And then I also have a lip balm, of course. This is the Smith's Rosebud Salve Balm. And it's just what it looks like. I get mine from Ulta. They're very inexpensive and I really love this. It really keeps my lips moisturized and not chappy. All right, I do have two bright lip colors with me, of course, and they're both from Lancome. I highly, highly recommend these. They're so amazing. They are matte. Um, I have it, I don't know the colors, but I'll have it written down below because it's not on the packaging, which is so weird. So I have one that is a hot pink color, and seriously, this stuff stays on your lips for Ever. Even after you take it off, it leaves a little bit of a stain, which I kind of like. So I love this, and you can eat with this, and it's still going to be on your lips. So I have a hot pink, and I also have kind of like a bright red, reddish orange color. It's really great. I love it. So I have those for like nighttime. I don't know if I want to play it up a little bit. So that is that. Of course, I have to have my brow pencil, and I'm actually currently using this one. This is the A Cosmetics Brow Power. Um, this is the Universal Brow Pencil, and I don't know the color. I think this is just like a brown. I don't know. It's not on here. But yeah, it's just a Universal Brow Pencil. It's what I used today. I've been using this for maybe a week or two now, and I really like it. It stays on all day long, and... It's pretty quick, and I do like the spoolie at the end as well. It's pretty big, and yeah, I like it. It works. <laughs> All right, I just have a few more things in here. I have a concealer, just a little one from Lorac, and this is actually what I use with like a flat top brush to kind of clean up my eyebrows if anything, if I mess up or whatever. So I have that with me all the time. And then I also have two mascara wands for my lash extensions, just to brush them out and whatnot. And then, of course, I have a little razor thing for my face and or my brows and then my tweezers as well. So that is that. That's everything that was in my makeup bag. As you can see, you can fit a lot in here. Okay, now going into what brushes I'm bringing with me. This was pretty easy for me. I use the same brushes all the time. So, yeah. And this little pouch I purchased on Jaws and Main. It's really similar to a Tide Baker, but I forgot what actual brand it is. I'll have it written down below, and I'll also link similar ones for you guys. So, anyways, I do have a few brushes in here, so let's just go right in. I have a clip in here. I also have... This is my Tarte bronzer brush. I'm not sure what it's called, but it is what I use for contouring and bronzing up my face. I love this guy. Like seriously, ugh, my favorite brush ever. I splurged a little bit on that, but it was so worth it. Okay, I have Real Techniques setting brush, and this is what I use for underneath my eyes to apply the Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. Love it. I have my foundation brush and it's from Tarte and it's actually like a double sided type of thing so I love this right here and then whenever I do need to clean up my brows I use the other end so that is that. I also have my cosmetics, what is this called? Heavenly Luxe number 4 and this is what I use to apply my blush and highlight so that is that. 
Oh my gosh, this is like my new favorite brush ever. I had to bring it with. It's from SL Miss Glam. So it's a glam brush and it's in the color white. Look at it, so cute. But this is the tapered highlight and I used this to apply my highlight today and I was like, yes, yes. Like it picks up product so, so, so well and it just really applies it on so nicely. And seriously, this brush is so so dang soft like it's so good i love it okay for powder i have this one this is just a powder brush from bh cosmetics so it's just like a little round one i don't know i really like the shape works good for me all right and then everything else in here kind of like eye brushes all right i have this brush right here it's from bh cosmetics and it's just a fluffy blending brush and i use this for my nose okay and then i have this one, this is from Diva Beauty. I've had this for years. Um, it's Tapered Blender. I like this for my crease area. It's just like the perfect shape. And then if I want that really nice smoky look and, you know, I don't know. I use this one. This is the Pro Blender from Diva Beauty. I like those shapes. They're great. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite spoolie brush. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's a glam beauty brush. Uh, it's amazing. So this is the brow spoolie. I love it. And it's pink with, you know, cute little crystals. So cute and it works great. Um, okay, I have this brush from Makeup Forever. This is just, I don't know, it says 226 straight. And it's just for my lids. Um, I also have a pencil brush from Sigma, the E30. I have this one. This is the short shader E20 from Sigma. And then I also have a flat brush from Beach Cosmetics. I just like to use this on the brows, you know, if I need to clean up or anything like that. And then, of course, I have to have the E, where are these? E25 from Sigma. And I have two little ones. I love using these. And the last things in here are just some bobby pins little hair ties and also another tweezer so that is that that's everything that's in there and that wraps up this video you guys that's everything i'm going to be bringing makeup wise i hope this helps some of you guys if you're packing or whatever but yeah those are my everyday go-to's i love these products Again, I will have everything listed down below for you guys if you're interested. But thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week's video. I'm going to show you guys how I pack my carry-on and also my travel essentials. And I do have other fun videos planned for you guys. So bye for now, you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you all soon in my next video. Bye.